Well, it was a good win, uh, and uh, we got out of a jam early. Uh, Rob, uh, you know, his ball was moving a lot, and uh, once he got control of that, uh, kept him off balance and uh, pitched great. And, uh, you know, Miller for them pitched outstanding too, so it was a pitcher's duel all the way, uh, you know, until the sixth, seventh inning. So uh, we kept battling, and that's what we do, and uh, trying to get an opening, and, uh, and we did. Talk about Lyon and how impressed you've been with him with this series. With the year, you know, yeah. uh, with the whole year, Lions has uh, been playing steady, short. Uh, he runs well, and uh, you know, he, anything he hits is a bonus. And right now, he's uh, he's hitting well. So to hit in the bottom of the lineup like that, um, you know, it helps us a great deal. And today was a huge hit for him and a huge hit for us. Lentini has been on fire lately. Just talk about what it's like to have him. Well, hitting well like yeah, this. yeah. No, he he goes, we go. I mean, he's a, he's a leadoff guy, and uh, he gets on base. He causes. You know, havoc for the uh, the other team because uh, they know he's running. He's the all-time independent uh, stolen base leader, so uh, puts pressure on them, and uh, that's what we like. I'll talk about uh, you know you have a chance to get another good uh, victory against Camden tomorrow with Garceau on the hill. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's been pitching well. Talk about that. Very well. So we're excited to have uh, Garceau go out there tomorrow after winning two uh, games against Camden and having one of your better pitchers on the mound. You know, you like your chances, but uh, it's baseball and you got to play the game. Talk about ending the home stretch strong because I know you guys are going to be on the road for a little bit. So uh... Yeah, I mean, tomorrow uh, is actually the last game of the first half. And then we do stay home for, for three against uh, Sugar Land. Then we do go on the road. Then it's the all-star break. And then, so we're already seven games into it uh, until we have the break. So, you know, it's probably a, a, a nice break. Some of the guys are kind of dragging a little bit, a little tired. And, uh, you know, it's summertime. It's hot. And, uh, and you're playing every day. You don't get many days off in this, uh, in this league. So... Uh, some guys are going to, you know, just kind of rest and get the uh, the body back and uh, ready to go. Uh, I know early on it was sort of a bit of a fight, but talk uh, about uh, getting through that and finding your rhythm after that. Yeah, you know, it was hard. I was kind of just felt myself that I was trying to be too fine with my pitches. And, uh, you know, after the second inning, I kind of got into a little bit of a groove and, uh, you know, it was just letting them put the ball in play and have my fielders take care of the rest. So, I mean, that and it worked out for the best. How were you feeling out there? I think this was one of your longer performances. So how do you feel right now? And uh... Physically, you know, physically I felt good. Um, you know, I threw a lot of pitches in the first inning, so uh, I really wasn't expecting to go that many pitches. But, I mean, I had a couple quick innings there and uh, was aggressive in the zone. And, you know, everything was feeling good. I know you didn't get the result, but are you starting to feel a little bit more confident and everything uh, the more time you're with the team? And yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm definitely, my confidence is definitely building. Um, you know, I'd like to obviously cut the walks down. Um, I still got to cut that out. But once I cut the walks down, I mean, when, when my pitches are in the zone and I'm throwing strikes, you know, I can be pretty effective. I know this, uh, from what I've seen, this is your first time facing uh, the River Sharks. Mm -hmm. What is it about them that's just so, uh, they seem like they were a little pest? Pesky tonight. Just talk about that a little bit. Yeah, you know they got a lot, couple scrappy hitters there. Uh, actually, Patty Matera I played with in Little League, and you know, 15, 20 years ago, and uh, the scrappy hitter McPhee. Um, I played with him last year in the Indian system. So you know, I know a couple of the guys, but you know, they, they just put together good at bats, and you know, they're, they they make you work for your pitches. How about your hitters, though? I mean, the fight that they've shown all year long, is it pretty special to see them continue to fight? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, you know, we're never out of a game, no matter how many runs we're down. Uh, you know, we, we play hard, and when you play hard, good things will happen. Well, really, I've just been trying to get a good pitch to hit. Um, you know, fortunately, I've come uh, to the plate in a situation where I was able to drive in some runs. Uh, you know, and, and in both those situations, I got a ball up, I was able to hit it, and uh, put a good swing on it. I'll talk about Camden. What is it about them that makes them such a fierce rival? Because it always seems to be close, intense games. So what is it about them? Well, they got a lot of great players. You know, they, just like any other team in this league, uh, you know, they got a lot of guys who've been to the major leagues or trying to get to the major leagues. Um, so, you know, there's there's a huge uh, huge competitiveness uh, among all the teams here, and you know, it's 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 very tough to go out there and get wins. So, you know, when we get them, we're glad, and you know, we're going to keep working hard to get. Them. Well, we're just going to not try to make too big of a deal out of it. Um, you know, we're wrapping up the second half with this series. Uh, mathematically, we're already out of the race, but we're going to try to go in, uh, gain some momentum into the second half, and we're going to try to take that serious. How important is it to build a little bit of positive momentum before the second half of the year starts? It's it's very important. Um, you know, we, we want to make sure we keep our bats going. We want to make sure the pitchers keep throwing the way they're throwing. Um, you know, and just j just keep it going. You know, it's uh, it w when you build up that momentum and you start getting winning streaks. You know, other teams know about that, and um, you know, it starts to put pressure on other teams. Once we get on base, we swing the bat well. So uh, we want to continue to do that.
Talk about the fight of the team that they've shown so far. Um, is that something that is going to continue, you hope, when the second half, you know, to end the first half and continue the second? Yeah, I think so. We've been very resilient, uh, especially the last couple of weeks. We've come from behind numerous times. Um, you know, and, and today, another example of that. So, you know, we're, we're going to keep on continuing to, to do that, um, you know, if we get behind. But we're, obviously, we're going to try to we're going to try to take that lead early as much as we can. Um, but, you know, the guys have shown a lot of a lot of fight. Um, you know, we've come up with big hits and big situations. And, uh, you know, that's that's what you got to do to win ball games.